Advisor comes with three tools that let you calculate and add additional fields to your tables. The first is an expression builder that will complete numeric, string, and conditional calculations. The second is a date parser, which will transpose a date field into a series of different date formats. And the third is a hierarchy wizard. Let's take a look using this simple project, uh, which has 9,975 prospects. This could be a sales pipeline or a fundraising pipeline. There's a total proposal ask amount of $440 million, and they're staffed by 25 people. There's one primary table where each row is a prospect, and each prospect has a proposal amount and an expected uh, amount, uh, and then a series of other uh, descriptive fields. Uh, so to access either of these three tools, you can either go to the toolbar up top, uh, build expressions, opens the expression builder, parse dates, the date parser, and set up hierarchies, the hierarchy wizard. What I like to do is have the view menu open my task view, which takes me through a series of steps from loading data to designing pages, to analyzing data, working with data. And here I also have those same wizards, and this is sort of a one place to get all of them. So let's look at first at parsing dates. I click parse dates. The date parser wizard opens up. I put it on the table uh, where this data is, the expression builder gallery table. It, the date, uh, the staff note date comes up. And then I have the option to parse that. And the form of this is it's a you know, month, date, year with a time stamp. And let's say we want to change that into year, month. So the format will be 2011 06 and so forth. I click OK. It's going to create a new field named staff note date year month. I click OK. And that column is now in my table and can be used in the various charts. Now let's look at the expression builder. What I want to do first is create a numeric expression uh, looking at the ratio of the active pending ask to the expected value. Because these you can clearly see in here run all over the place. Here's one that's fairly close. Uh, Here's one where the ask is way below the expected value. Here's one where it's way above. I click Build Expressions. I put this on the table. And just to start, there's a series of operations I can do. I have arithmetic, comparison, um, logical. So just this is a very rich uh, tool set uh, where I can do that. I can format. I can set up functions, conversion functions. Uh, different math functions. Uh, we'll look at some of these. There's string functions, match, go sub. These are actually really useful if you have, say, a field that's got descriptive text about maybe events. Uh, you can use the match function to parse out keywords and group groups out of it. I have constants, uh, different numbers uh, missing. I have the date. The data was loaded from the source system, so I can do cal date calculations off of that and so forth. In this case, we want to create a very simple expression. We're going to call it ask uh, to expected value. Uh, the table up here has my different fields. Uh, one of the fields in here is uh, active pending ask amount. So let's take that. Let's divide it by the expected value. Put that here. And we're going to format this as a number with uh, two digits. I click Evaluate. It gives me a sample of the first rows of my tables. This is going to add a whole new field called ask to expected value. And here the, uh, the ask is uh, you know, 200,000. The expected value is 660. The ratio is 0.3. Uh, no ask, so zero, and so forth. So now we let's put that in this table. Let's put the column in uh, right to the right of expected amount. Open up the property um, configuration. There's a new field available, asked to expect the value. It's just calculated. Now it's available as one of the fields that I can uh, put this chart on. I click OK. And um, let's bring this uh, field over uh, next to the, the two it's closest to. So I can quickly see I have a range. And I can sort on this. Uh, so here's uh, some that are like really, really high. The other end, there's a bunch of zeros. So I've created a new field. Now the next thing, let's look at doing a string uh, calculation. So Suppose I want to combine uh, city and state into one field instead of having it as two fields. Go to my expression builder, uh, go to this table, call this city state. Uh, go to the table. I go find the, the city. And then I want to probably put a comma in it. So a typical string here. So I'm going to have city, comma, state. Click Evaluate. And so I've got to put the, uh, I've got a plus. 
So it tells me that I made an error. Click OK. And now I have a new field in the table called uh, City State. And you can see it's combined the two with the com in between. Now again, there's a lot more you can do with strings. Uh, we can do substrings. We can parse matches out of strings uh, and so forth. So the next thing I want to do is create uh, some bins so I can sort my prospects and analyze them by the ask amount. I can sort of see when I'm sorted by the ask amount, uh, there's some that are very big, 25 million. If I scroll down the list, there's some that are in you know, the 25,000 range, and I pretty quickly get down to the zeros. So let's create a conditional statement for some bins. Go to Build Expressions, uh, create a uh, new field. I'm going to call it uh, Proposal Bins. I pre-type this to speed this up here. Um, so I've created a conditional statement that if the active pending ask amount is greater than or equal to 5 million, then call it A, ask 5 million plus. Else, if the active pending ask amount is greater than zero, so it'll be between zero and 5 million, then B, ask amount is less than 5 million. Else, no proposal. I click Evaluate. Now here's one where the ask amount was 200,000. It creates a bin or a field uh, in the proposal bins B, ask amount less than 5 million, and so forth. So I've created a new field. Let's tile it in a chart. I'm going to open the toolbar, put up a bar chart. I put the bar chart on this table. There should be a now a field for the um, proposal bins, the field I just created. You can see the other one, uh, the ask to expected values in here as well. And here's the date, year, month. So those three fields I've just created are all in here. Uh, so let's click this one. Uh, we'll flip the chart around this way, tile it in, stick it up here so the format's a little better, maybe move this over here, uh, give this page a little bit better layout. And so, and actually, what just to point out, I've colored by rating. So uh, I've got this chart, which is the top rated prospects are red and the lower ones are blue. And here's uh, my three bins. I'd like to actually sort this by uh, the label. So let's change the sort out on this. Uh, we'll sort by label. Let's change the titles, make it uh, a little cleaner. Don't need that. Call this uh, number of prospects. And so now if I want to do a little analysis, I've grouped everybody. Uh, who's got the 5 million plus proposals? I can sweep over that. 248 million, 31 prospects. Now that's out of my total pool of 440 million. So I've got a huge percentage up there. I can reduce down, uh, kind of see where they are by rating. Uh, they are my top rated prospects. That's good. Uh, so there's an alignment there. And what about this middle group? Uh, between 0 and 5 million, 192. Spread more. Um, and then here's the ones that have no proposal which is obviously the majority, um, but I've been able to quickly uh, create some bins, which lets me in do some analysis. And I might want to come back, you know, here's my top. Um, I can combine these things. This is my top uh, 5 million plus proposals. Uh, I can now sort by the uh, ask to expected value ratio. You know, I can quickly see that some of them look really high compared to the expected value, so I probably have some concern there. Uh, some of them are kind of more imbalanced down in here, and some of them actually look a little low. So by creating those two calculated fields, I've been able to transition from just looking at the data the way it came from the database to creating these metrics that I can start working with to cut subsplit subsets of the data and slice and dice it in different ways to see value. Now when I'm done, uh, I can go back to my, my task view, which I, looks like I shut down. Uh, go to the project workshop down here under work with data. This is also available from the view menu up top. If I open this, it tells me uh, that I've got two tables loaded. Uh, calculations, I've got three calculations I just did. Here they are. So there's a place in here where it summarizes everything in the project, and it shows me my, uh, my um, three calculations and tells me in their, in the, if they're in use or not. And I click on it, and I can sort of see where they're in use. So again, to summarize, Advisor comes with three tools that let you add additional fields to your, uh, your data sets, uh, an expression builder, which does numeric, string, and conditional statements a date parser, which will parse the date field into a variety of different formats, and a hierarchy wizard that will let you set up hierarchies, and we did not see that today. Uh, thank you for your time.